Look up, these women are the height of challenge. Let's be fascinated by their stories. The tallest women in the world. Number 10, Vasiliki Kaliandi. This is the giant lady from Greece. She lived between 1882 and 1904 in the city of Corinth. Unfortunately, there isn't much information about her. Those who saw her said that her feet and hands were enormous and that her eyes were as big as chicken eggs. No wonder, she was a tremendous 7 feet 6.5 inches tall. Even though she received several proposals from circuses and exhibitions, she decided to stay away from extravagances. Unfortunately, she died at the young age of 22 when she went up higher than her head could reach. Number 9. Sandy Allen, a height winner straight from Chicago. Sandy was recognized by the Guinness World Records as the tallest woman in the world. A tumor on her pituitary gland caused her to release growth hormone uncontrollably, between 200 and 100 times more than the regular amount. So, Sandy grew taller like there was no tomorrow and reached a height of 7 feet 7.2 inches. She didn't date any guy because she wanted to be with someone taller than her. She did have very high standards. At age 22, she underwent growth arrest surgery. Over the years, her legs and back couldn't bear so much weight, and she had to use a wheelchair. A giant on wheels. She died in 2008 at the age of 53. She suffered from constant blood infections, diabetes, respiratory problems, and kidney failure. What a combo of setbacks. Despite everything, her friends will always remember Sandy as a giant whose smile always lit up the sky. Number 8. Yao Defen China makes its entry into this list with a young woman who, due to a pituitary tumor, was 7 feet 7.8 inches tall and weighed 440 pounds. Initially, Yao Defen made money traveling and acting. She was like a walking circus show. Some sports teams even offered her to be a part of them. She would have been a great basketball player, but she couldn't take the opportunity due to her hypertension, heart disease, osteoporosis, and malnutrition, since the rapid growth didn't wait for getting the necessary resources to handle tremendous body. Not to mention, she had a severe fall that caused her a brain hemorrhage. A whole parade of misfortunes. In 2006, she had surgery, but the tumor returned the following year. Shortly after, she was recognized by Guinness World Records as the tallest woman in the world. But she couldn't enjoy her success very much because she died the following year at the age of 40. Number 7. Sadika Parveen The year after Yao Defen's death, Guinness World Records awarded the title of World's Tallest Woman to Sadika Parveen, a 7-foot 7.9-inch Indian woman, a truly record height. Her poor mother was tormented. She had to deal with a daughter who didn't fit in the house and who was also a rice eater. None other than 4 pounds a day! She couldn't follow this diet all the time, so her calcium levels were low and her bones became very fragile. She became a tremendous and dangerous 7-foot-tall house of cards. The cause was the same as that of the other giants, a pituitary tumor that grew in her head and was about to leave her paralyzed or blind. What's more, Sadika had already suffered spinal fractures due to the tremendous weight she had to bear. During surgery, they removed her tumor through her gigantic nose. She managed to survive and she's the only safe and sound giant on this list, at least for now. Number 6. Carolina Rascon this young Mexican from the state of Chihuahua was born in 1916 and was 7 feet 10 inches tall. Her distracted parents never took her to see a doctor, so the origin of her height remains a mystery. She lived anonymously until a friend took her to her state capital, and suddenly she became the biggest local celebrity. Before long, an American reporter with a very sharp pen arrived to do a story about her in the newspapers and claimed that she could carry a grown man with one hand or touch the ground while riding a horse. Poor horse. Carolina died at the age of 27 from an illness probably related to her height. Number 5. Jane Bunford When Jane Bunford, an English girl from Birmingham, was 11 years old, she suffered a head injury that is believed to have damaged her pituitary gland. She got to have a height of 7 feet and 10.8 inches. This wasn't a very happy experience, and problems wouldn't take long to appear. The school desks were too short for her. According to witnesses, it was difficult for her to cross the school door, so she dropped out of school. The shoes didn't fit her, so she had custom-made shoes. Jane secluded herself at home to avoid the attention her height brought. She often babysat the little children in the area, and her friend Emma, a dwarf, was one of her few contacts with the outside. It must have been quite a contrast to see them together. Due to the weight, her spine suffered a severe curvature and also had joint problems. She died at the age of 26. Number 4. 
Anna Heining Bates. From her birth in 1846 in Nova Scotia, Canada, Anna Swan began to grow rapidly. By age 5, she was already 5 feet tall. At 18, she reached the size that would accompany her for life and was impressive, 7 feet 11 inches. Unlike Jane Bunford, Anna didn't stay cooped up at home. No, sir. She took advantage of her height to shine on stage, dazzling as an actress, singer, and pianist. She even played Lady Macbeth, and with her dramatic height, she took the audience's breath away. A world-class actress. At a circus, she met Martin Van Buren Bates, who was 7 feet 9 inches tall, and she married him. Together, they were a celebrated couple of giants, and their son set a record for the largest newborn of all time at a staggering 2.4 feet long. Anna died at 42 of what was supposed to be heart failure and showed us that greatness isn't in height, but in how you make the most of life. Number 3. Zheng Jianlan Zheng Jianlan was born in 1964 in China, and since she was little, she had a strength worthy of the Incredible Hulk. At just a year and a half old, she was able to lift a 110-pound bag of cement as if it were a pile of feathers, and at 13, she was already over 6 feet tall. Her maximum height was 8 feet 1.7 inches. With this size, it was impossible to go unnoticed, and she became famous in the 80s. Although she could have been a basketball champion, the truth is that she had her battles to face. Diabetes was one of her toughest opponents, since she was rumored to devour half a ton of rice and vegetables in a year. Now that's having a giant appetite. The doctors recommended surgery on her pituitary to control its growth, but Zhang was a little scared. After all, who wants to have a piece of their brain cut out? So she decided to face the giant world without surgery. In the end, her problems worsened and she passed away at the age of 17 in 1982. Although her time was short, her memory will be as giant as her. Number 2. Ella Ewing Let me introduce you to the giant from Missouri. Until the age of 7, she was a normal child, but out of nowhere, she began to grow out of control and reached 8 feet 4 inches tall. That's higher than the ceiling of an average apartment. The people of her town had empathy for her and never gave her a hard time. But in other towns, the inhabitants did not hesitate to make fun of her. Despite this, Ella decided to take advantage of her size and began to make appearances in tours and exhibitions and circuses. If life gives you lemons, you have to make lemonade. And yes, it did benefit. With the money she earned, she bought a farm and built a custom house for herself. She no longer had to bend down to see through the windows, the furniture was gigantic like her, although she also had normal-sized ones for visitors. As her health began to fail, Ewing decided to take a break from the spotlight. She soon discovered that she had tuberculosis and died at just 40 years old. It's time to look up a little more because I'm going to introduce you to the tallest woman in history. Number 1. Trinti Kiever Here is the biggest giant in the Netherlands and the world. This girl was so tall that she made the heights of the rest of her country appear pocket-sized. Incredible but true! Trinti Kiever was born in 1616, and we don't have photos of her because it was the 17th century, but there's a life-size portrait that gives us an idea of her appearance. Now imagine her 8 feet 4.3 inches in three dimensions. Her parents didn't hesitate to take advantage of her height. How? By taking her to carnivals and earning some money. Unfortunately, fate wasn't so kind to Trinti. At the tender age of 17, she fell victim to cancer and left us too soon. And here comes the most curious thing. Her shoes are on display. Yes, you heard right. Her shoes, those huge 14-inch chunks of leather, have become a major attraction in their own right at a museum in her home country. Her wardrobe must have been tremendous, and the floor must have vibrated with each step she took. I hope you didn't get vertigo from such a height. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell because I have much more content for you. See you in the next video.